again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 14th of February, 2019. Just read an article on Bloomberg. Politics, written by Eric Wasson, Laura Litvin, and Anna Edgerton, E-D-G-E-R-T-O-N. Title, Trump to sign border bill, declare emergency for more wall money. Hmm. You want to bet that not a single congressional representative read that, what is it, 1,100-page bill? They don't have a clue as to what's in it. You know, I posted videos earlier on and I said they need to be tested to make certain that they have, in fact, read the bill. They haven't got a clue what's in the bill. President Donald Trump will sign compromise spending legislation that would avert another government shutdown and declare a national emergency to get more money for a border wall from other parts of the federal budget. I wonder what else is involved in a national emergency. Huh? President Trump will sign the government funding bill, and as he has stated before, he will also take other executive action, including a national emergency to ensure we stop the national security and humanitarian crisis at the border, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said in a statement. After getting word from the White House, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, you know, Mitch, said the Senate will vote on the plan later Thursday. The House is set to vote later in the evening. This is on a bill that not a single one of them has even read. Democrats threatened to challenge an emergency declaration by Trump in court, and some Republicans had sought to steer the president away from such an action by shifting money and other accounts. But McConnell said he indicated to him, I'm going to support the national emergency declaration. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi warned that an emergency declaration could set a precedent that a Democratic president could take similar action in the future on an issue such as gun violence. She said Democrats would review their legal options. Hey, Nancy, if you take away their guns, they're going to do what they're doing in England. They're going to use knives. Don't know if you caught my video, Nancy, but they're having 40 knife incidences a day. A day, Nancy. Although the deal was crafted by Republicans and Democrats and leaders of both parties predicted easy passes, some GOP senators had balked at voting on a bipartisan measure until they got a clear signal from the president that he would sign it. Nobody wants to enter into a pointless exercise if the president will veto this, Senator John Kennedy, a Louisiana Republican, said before McConnell's announcement. New fencing. The plan provides $1.375 billion for 55 new miles of fencing on the U.S.-Mexico border, far short of the $5.7 billion in wall money the president sought to fulfill a campaign promise, and provides funding for nine federal departments through the end of the fiscal year, September 30th. Hey, Donald, how about the other promises that you made, huh? How about a reciprocity agreement for concealed carry permit holders, huh, Donald? How about letting us know about what really happened to JFK, Donald, huh? How about letting us know about the $17 million that was spent by perverts in the Senate and in the Congress? How about letting us know about that, Donald? How about putting Hillary where she belongs, Donald? How about draining the swamp, Donald, and not incorporating the swamp into your cabinet, which is exactly what you've done? Trump's administration has been examining how to use executive authority to shift money from other government accounts to put more money into the border barriers. How about like what Ted Cruz suggested? Now that you got that drug dealer in prison, why don't you go after his $14.5 billion? Friday midnight deadline. Distract, divert, to deceive. Absolute bullshit. The spending measure must be passed by both chambers and signed by the president before midnight Friday to avoid a shutdown of about one-fourth of the government. In December, Trump refused to back a short-term bipartisan spending plan. you got to stop with this bullshit bipartisan. There's nothing bipartisan about what these dirtbags in the Senate and Congress put together. After initially suggesting he supported, even though it lacked the wall money he wanted, after conservative pundits and lawmakers criticized him. That prompted a 35-day government shutdown that ended January 25th when Trump accepted a short-term spending bill with extra wall funding. 
House Appropriation Chairwoman Nita Lowey, a New York Democrat, said after the bill was introduced late Wednesday that the plan would allow Trump to construct only existing styles of border barriers. Democrats also see victories in increased funding for humanitarian aid at the border, alternatives to detention and aid to Central America. The bill would give federal civilian workers a 1.9% pay raise, overriding a pay free signed by Trump during the shutdown. It would also fund the new polar icebreaker for the Coast Guard. Republicans touted that the bill provides 55 miles of barrier in their Border Patrol's highest priority areas, a $942 million increase in Customs Border Protection for 800 new officers, and $650 million for new equipment at ports of entry. They should just shut down the ports of entry. It's not a real tough thing to do. That includes a total of $22.54 billion for border security, according to the statement from Senate Appropriations Chairman Richard Shelby's office. The Democrats successfully pushed to exclude some areas in Texas from fence construction, including the National Butterfly Center and a SpaceX launch pad, and to give local officials more say in placement of the fencing. The appropriation panel's top Democrat, Patrick Leahy, of Vermont said that he and Shelby understand how grown-ups have to act in the Congress. Folks, you want to read the rest of the article? It's somewhat interesting. But like I said, distract, divert, to deceive. That's all this bullshit is with the wall. It's just nothing more than that. He has all the money that he needs to do whatever he needs to do. He's got $3.5 billion coming back from California. I mean, come on, folks. Wake the hell up. Are we going to have a form of martial law? Is that what this is really all about? You know, I don't know, but I guess we're soon going to see. Tomorrow is the deadline. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You sure as hell know what I think. And you damn well know why I think what I think. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. No need to send a copy to Trump. He knows that that's exactly what this is. Distract, divert, to deceive. Thanks for listening.